Call the port meeting to order. Time, please. 6.34 p.m. 6.34 p.m. Roll call, please. Machine is open. New Barry leaders to the player, prayer, and Dr. Stuart Good leaders to the player. We take this moment to acknowledge our mighty God, thank him for our bountiful blessings, especially for the parish and natural resources. We pray for the protection of our parish, residents, and businesses during this hurricane season. We give thanks to God for our brave and courageous men and women in our military who daily risk their lives to protect our precious freedom. We pray for our world leaders to know how to obtain world peace. We also pray that this government body, comprised of both council and administration, will always serve our parish with honesty and humility and equality to all. And this government body gathers here today. We pray for the wisdom to know right from wrong and the courage to do that which is right. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Executive session. Status report by the executive port director. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Vice Chairman, and members of the board. I am Sandy Sanders, executive director of Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District. Follows this by executive director's report for the reporting period of 28 June through 15 July. Due to the July 4th holiday and the events surrounding Tropical Storm Barry, this report is very short. During this time, we participated in meetings with the Rio Grande, New Orleans Gulf Coast, and community leaders from Gretna and Jefferson Parish to address the concerns of rail traffic through Gretna. Once again, it was stressed both by the port and by the railroad that the objective of rerouting the rail down Harvey Canal and around the Naval Air Station is the goal of both of us. Port personnel were positioned in the PPG Emergency Operations Center during the storm, and, and the port lent their assets, the command vehicle and an airboat, to the sheriff's office and the PPG government supporting their efforts. During the storm, we received a call from the 9-11 dispatch. As it appears, there was a husband and wife team that had kayaked down from Indiana and were not aware of the storm. How it was routed to the 9-11, I'm not sure, but it was from their parents. David Sylvie uh, contacted the parents. He also was able to contact the husband and wife, told them to stay put down at Port Eads. And at daybreak, this happened on Wednesday evening at 11 o'clock. At daybreak, uh, we would send someone down there to, to dispatch them. So I'd like to thank uh, Captain Raylan Hoye and rescue engineer Dana Barrios. They went down, they rescued them. David Sylvie picked them up uh, in a truck at the um, Coast Guard Station in Venice Port. Uh, we, we loaded their kayak up, we contacted their parents. Uh, their parents immediately set out uh, from Indiana to pick them up. So, a good news story. Lastly, I'd like to provide everyone here with my observation during the time spent in the EOC or on site throughout the parish. This was a great cooperative effort by all, starting with the parish president, the sheriff, the council members, all the associated staff members from many different organizations. It was obvious that the, the care and safety of the citizens of the parish was paramount in every decision was made with that ultimate purpose. Mr. Chairman, subject to your questions or comments, this concludes my report. Any comments from the table? 
audience. Canal, um, Myrtle Grove. I had one question was on the railroad. Uh, the talks with the railroad were to go to how far? I know it's taking a Peter, Peter's Road extension and going around. What happens when it gets back to the highway? Is there any talk on going through Ironton again or what happens to the railroad from that point south? Okay, it will go around the Naval Air Station and tie back into Highway 23 right at, at that Peters Road Junction. Uh, it will be extended down to the port. We have had extensive talks with the folks at Ironton on how we would bypass Ironton as best as we could. And obviously, uh, those would be ongoing talks. Uh, we have not spoken to Mr. LaFrance. It was his predecessor. Uh, but again, when that time comes, we will engage. Okay, I just question, you know, we haven't heard anything on what's going to happen in the district after it leaves to where it's extended to now. There was some talk about going back and get, you know, toward the levee side and get around the other side to go to the port. That's, and that's a non-starter. That's an, okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you talked to Arnton. There's other people live down there, too. Thank you. Yes, sir. Next item, please. Financial report. I have none. I'm sorry. It's... I have none. Okay. Next item. Bids and advertisements. There are none. Number five, introduction of ordinances and resolutions. Slip I have none. Newberry? None. Mr. Black? Mr. Roussel? None. None. Yeah, I have one. I don't know if I put my contract paper up. Resolution authorizing directing the Plague Parish Port Harbor and Terminal District Chairman to enter into an employment contract with Bernard Sand Sanders Sanders to serve as for the Port Executive Director by signing an employment contract to enter into said contract for the term of five years authorizing the Director to the, of the Port Chairman to sign contract to enter into the contract by Choosing the business of August the second, and twenty nineteen, otherwise to provide with respect there too. Now, just to make this understanding. This I just won't sign unless the the uh, body supplies or support what is written. That's all I have. Next item. Six B. A resolution authorizing Maynard J. Sandy Sanders, Executive Director of the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District, to enter into a cooperative endeavor agreement with Greater Baton Rouge Port Commission for the utilization of GBRPC's Maritime Security Operations Center and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. I offer good to changes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought we had passed them out to you all. Offer with the changes. The change. Yeah, read the changes, please. The changes are in the first whereas, starting on, it reads, currently reads, whereas PPHTD and GBRPC are deep water ports and political subdivisions of the state of Louisiana, exercising governmental powers of the state as delegated and authorized pursuant to the Louisiana Constitution and other statutory supplement authorities thereof, and we're deleting information, we're deleting the following from that paragraph. And after the word, um, whereas PPHTD and GBRPC are deep border ports, we're going to be deleting and political subdivisions of the state of Louisiana exercising governmental powers of the state as delegated and authorized pursuant to Louisiana Constitution and other statutory supplemental authorities thereof. 
So it'll only read, whereas PPH, TD, and GBR, PC are deep water ports, and? Offer with those changes. Question, table, audience, machine is open. Six C, a resolution authorizing Manor J. Sandy Sanders, Executive Director of the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District, to enter into a memorandum of, under, of agreement with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, New Orleans District, concerning the provision of funds pursuant to the Section 2106 of the Water Resources Reform and Development Act of 2014, and otherwise provide with respect thereto. Offer is read. The second. Second. Go ahead. Questions from the table? Audience? I beg your pardon? I have a question. Okay, go ahead, Mr. LaFrance. Uh, what the team plans. will be working to put in this uh, design? Say that again, please, sir. What team will be working together to put in this design together? What team will be working together? Yes. Uh, we and uh, uh, members of the parish government, as well as the Corps of Engineers, uh, will all be gathering uh, to put the best design um, that we possibly can come up with, and also with uh, most likely CPRA, uh, because we're going to be asking for them to put their money uh, and muscle to use uh, when we put the beneficial use material into some of their state projects. Okay, so we don't know exactly where this material is going to be, what is dressed. Right now, uh, we have not designated an area, but uh, when we got the presentation from the Corps, we have some pretty likely spots that we're going to target. Um, particularly, they are CPRA projects, so we're looking at you know, using their financial muscle to assist with it. Well, you know, it's very important that we have the government, uh, someone from the government to be involved with this. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Any other comments from the table? Audience? Machine is open. Next item, please. D, a resolution authorizing Maynard J. Sandy Sanders, Executive Director of the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District, to enter into a design agreement with U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, New Orleans District, regarding Bud Map, Mississippi River Outlet, at Venice, and otherwise provide with respect thereto. I'd like to offer with the changes. That's E. I'm sorry. Okay. Offer as it is read. Questions from the table? Yes. Mr. Roussel? I, I just wanted to say that we, um, you want to turn me on? You're on. I just wanted to say that we have met with uh, the representatives from the Corps of Engineers and we have agreed that, uh, that this spoil or material that will be placed in the beneficial use areas will have uh, perpetual servitudes for environmental purposes on that. And I uh, want to make sure that the language reflects that in the agreement that we are authorizing now. And so uh, I appreciate you, uh, your coming to us and having that meeting. And it was very important for me to understand exactly what we were doing to the project. So I want to thank you for that. I know we have done projects in the past with you as the local government. Now the port is stepping up to uh, do a project with you. Uh, and they committed to finding the, the match funds, which is going to be uh, Interesting to see where we get that from, but uh, thank you for coming in and having that meeting with us. So far, uh, I just would like for the court to stop taking that uh, drudge material that they're getting from South Pass <laughs> and dumping it in front of the head of, of South Pass. I'm sorry, from Southwest Pass 
and dump it in front of a uh, cell pass. Uh, that's all I need to say. Audience. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may add yes. to that, uh, I will be coordinating a signing with uh, all the folks on the commission, as well as the the new colonel at the at the core here soon. Thank you. Got an audience. Machine is open. Next item, please. I'd like to. Next item, we want to offer with the changes. I want to offer with changes. A resolution authorizing the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District to dispose of disused movable property, specifically to dispose of a 2005 Dodge 2500 pickup on an as is, where is basis, and in accordance with Louisiana statutes governing the disposal of movable property owned by political subdivision of the state and otherwise provide with respect thereto. On line 5 and line 14, we're removing the words of the state. Offer with those changes. Second by Councilman Newberry. Questions from the table? I just want to say that we already have a process of disposing surplus equipment. Uh, the port is a political subdivision of the government, and we should use the same process that's already in place. Donald. If I may, if I, talk about it. If I may we started using government uh, gov deals, government surpluses are worldwide compared to using the Livingston Parish uh, organization that the PPG uses. So we get a lot more exposure when we do get rid of our surplus. Uh, we've been doing that now for about six years, seven years, and we get a good response with it. It's a wider distribution. Well, maybe the government ought to start using it. <laughs> Any other comments from the table? <laughs> Audience, Mr. Lawrence? States, you, oh, you, you already, they, they might not know you. Yes, my question is, again, uh, is there a cost factor in this, and including the other ones where we have a uh, co uh, cooperative endeavor agreement? Are there any costs involved with any of these, or is this a, a, a no cost factor on anything? In other words, I was looking at a cooperative endeavor agreement, and we don't talk about any costs on any of this. Is there a cost on any of this? If so, how much? Are you specifically talking about the surplus truck? Well, I, we can start with that. I, I, I should have came up before, but I'm looking at the truck. Is What is the cost to get rid of this truck? If any. Is it a losing effort? It normally ends up being a wash, but there's like a 1.5% fee. You can tack that on to the buyer. You can do it in numerous different ways. But normally the most we pay to get rid of a surplus is 1.5%. Livingston Parish and other auction organizations charge up to 10 percent. And what, I guess I'll ask, what did the parish pay to get rid of theirs? I mean, I think I go back with Mr. LaFrance said, if we're paying 10 percent with the parish, maybe we should be looking at something to get rid of on a one and a half percent basis. If this is the cost here, what is the cost compared to surplus costs for us to get rid of equipment in the parish? I'm not knocking. If you have the better way to do it, fine. Maybe we ought to look at their way and do it. it if someone here could tell us from the parish, what is uh, the cost? Let's, let's, let's bring it up under the uh, Plattman Parish government part of it, since we're talking about the port, to yeah. address the port. But that's parish. I'll just stop to deal with the parish. Right. We'll bring it up under the parish. Okay. Council meeting. Is there any cost on a cooperative in Greece? We'll bring it up. Yeah. Right. We'll bring it up there. Yeah. I will address that if I may, Mr. Yeah, but he can only address the port standpoint. Right. Mr. No, Lawrence is asking port. about the parish standpoint. The uh, but it, you had asked about the cooperative endeavor agreements on the other two items. Right. right. Yeah. The, uh, both of these programs have a 25% match, and the port has agreed to take that on. All right. Uh, and I feel very 
uh, certain that uh, I can partner with CPRA and they can put a big dent in our match. Well, I guess it's my thing is when you're bringing it to here, as a port commission, you should know what it's costing you to do this. And and, and on the board's behalf, they, they were informed. They, they know. Okay. If they, they know. were informed, the public's not. As Mr. Roussel said, we had a great presentation from the core, okay. and they showed us all the ins and outs. Any comments? Sheen is open. Next item, please. 6F, a resolution Defer. to amend Plaquemines. Would defer, please. There are no items in uh, for new business. Number eight, approval of the June 27, 2019 meeting minutes. Offer the second. Second by Mr. Albro. Sheen is open. By who? By who? I did too. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I heard you loud and clear. I don't know what they're talking about, Dan. What y'all been trying? What y'all been, been doing? I saw one of them. Machine is open, please. Motion to, motion to adjourn. So moved by Councilman Gore, second by Mr. Arbaugh. Any question? The machine is open. All, all, all bright. <laughs> the meeting is adjourned at six fifty six.